And we are back with yet another episode of the Dunedain campaign. And in the previous episode, we destroyed the disgusting goblins. We took them out, we destroyed them at Goblin Town. And we have money in the bank now. We are going to get the House of Kings. We have queued it up already. We're going to put it into the queue. It's going to cost us a fair bit of gold, but it's going to be worth it. Uh, because we are going to suck up all of Bree's territory and we're going to get a lot more armies. We're going to unlock a lot more troops, a fair few elites here and there. I really want them. We need them at this hour. We are under attack at Deadman's Dyke but the, by this Angmarim army. I don't feel threatened at all. We have some decent forces inside here. So by all means, let them come. Over here at Tharbat, we're just still just holding here for dear life. We have a pretty sizable army here. Uh, it looks okay. Uh, we could try it. As someone stated in the comment section, uh, someone said that I should move into this territory and see if we can get any mercs here. And we cannot get any mercs here. So, sadly, no mercs. Uh, and no mercs here. We're going to move back again in the next turn. I just wanted to double check because we might need some more forces here. Uh, we're not that strong just yet. This army, if they come with a full stack, this army, I'm not sure that this army is going to be able to hold. We're quite battered here, so... Yeah, we're queuing up the carpenter's hut after the library. I'm not sure that we want to do that. I think we might want to go for the Dunedai Militia Garrison before we go for the hunting, the carpenter's hut here. Uh, we really need to have those two extra defenders. They can really turn the tide if they come with a large force. Thorbad is a defensive region in itself with the towers and all of that stuff, but uh, the extra forces for free that we can get with that is going to help us out a lot. And I'm also going to try and move down here and try and take this um, Dunland region that is over here. Argon, I think it is called. Really should try and get there. And one thing I really want to do maybe is to put this guy, Nirion, to, into Metrith and then move out with Arodon down here. Kelunek is a safe region. I don't think that we need a governor here and we're not earning too much money about the same, honestly, as Metrith. Uh, we won't be able to get any troops here. So we... Get the Dunedain war camp before the roads. I want to recruit something here. Uh, can we even move yes, you out now? No, not quite yet. Uh, stay inside for a little while. Uh, we could send uh, s send these guys over. Send them over to Kaloniak. And then we're going to move him out towards Metrith. And then this army is going to move down here. Um, because if we take this region, uh, Metrith should be safe as well. So let's just keep one Brila Militia. We should be able to get the Brila Militia from this. Yes, we, we are going to be able to get them. Good. All right, all right. I do believe we were, we were at an end turn. Oh. The diplomat is on the move. This diplomat, yes, I'm not sure where we're going to send him just now. Uh, you can stay here. We, we don't know. We might need you here in this area. So stay there. Stay there. Okay, and we're also sending this guy over to the ranger hideout and hopefully Halbarad can finally get his out ass out of here. I want to link him up with Aragon's army. Uh, we also need to strengthen up his army. His army is beginning to look quite weak. Can we get the Dunedain rangers here? Yes, we can. We're getting the library here. We have 18% culture. We need 50% culture in order to get the rangers. I really want to get the Dunedain war camp here and the hunting camp as well. It would be nice. I really want to make this another recruitment center. This is a castle, so they're really good for that use. We, the hunting camp would be really nice. We should prioritize making military buildings here. Way station would be pretty solid here as well, maybe, because then we could retrain troops here. Okay, okay. I'm just talking here. Let's end the turn because there's nothing else we can do. Uh, let's prepare for the fight. They're likely going to attack me here. So let's end the turn and prepare for this Angmarim assault. Shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. Uh, I don't think... Oh, Lord! Bree Bilbo Baggins the Fearless. Oh, my God. What a chad you are. Oh, they have four generals. These guys are pretty damn solid in melee. Nine attack, 21 defense. Effective against armor. Bree, Jesus Christ. You are heroes. Heroes. Merchant, militia. A few of them. Watchmen, sword guard. This is a... Decent Breland army. It's a pretty solid Breland army. It, it, it can actually do some work. They have some Dunedain Wardens here as well. 
a lot of generals, a lot of decent troops. This army is probably stronger than this Angmarim army. Yeah, I would say that it is. They're led by Bilbo as well, and he has a 9-star in command, so they're not going to break. These merchant militia lads are not going to break easily. Well, we're going to take this. Absolutely. Oh my god. Bree, you're so flippin' cute. You're, you're... Every peasant, every farmer is moving into war to protect the northern dude. They're so cute. They're helping me so hard here. I'm so happy. It, not that we would have lost and must die without their help, but... We'll take this fight, definitely. Let Bilbo, the flipping Chad hero, take them out. Let's go into combat. <laughs> Bree, Bree, Bree. You are like my guardian angels. What a lovely, friendly ally faction you are. Start the battle, um, let the, them duke it out. Uh, we're likely not going to use any of our melee forces in this fight. I might want to try and rush over my ranged troops to try and help here. But honestly, I think that this Breland army would take this Angmarim army out on their own. They have the good, they have a nice um, place where they're forming up their forces as well. Angmar needs to go up the hill in order to fight them, so I, I think Bree would take this victory on their own, honestly. Yeah, we are going to rush our archers over here to try and help as much as we can, but the melee troops, we're not gonna even, even going to bother with them. I don't think that we're going to need them here. Um, if we need them, this unit could walk over here slowly, but the archers are going to run. Try and help them with some ranged attacks. Let's take a look here. The front lines is about to clash. The merchant, militia, the watchman, sword guard, they're all moving in against these Angmarim. Oh, they have Iron Crown, how bad it is. Watchman Sword Guard, you're not going to have the best of days against them. If, if you fight the Angmarim Archers, though, you're going to be able to take them out fairly easily. But these Iron Crown Halberdiers are going to be problematic to deal with. Uh, there we go, they're losing a few lads. Uh, watch March of the Militia fighting some... Oh, it's a bit laggy here. Stop lagging, please. It's disgusting lag. Okay, Cav is moving in. Fighting some Angmar infantry. A lot of them are shaken already. Where's those Breland generals? Council Guard. Here we have them. Yeah, they're fighting some hillmen. That should be an easy fight for them. Okay, they're fighting some warriors as well. Bree might lose a few generals here if they're sending them in. Some more Council Guard there. Fighting some thralls. Should be an easy victory there. Archers, remember. Get into position, all of you. Try and run over here. Support best you can. Take this position here, I guess, and just destroy them with range. That should be enough to win us this battle. I mean, Bree has a lot of ranged troops as well. They might even crush them on their own. I, I think that they are going to. Dwarven Travelers, I think this is Bilbo's unit. Yeah, I think this is Bilbo. It looks like it is. Yeah, this is probably Bilbo. Okay. <laughs> Glorious. Uh, Bree... Jesus, man. They're so cute. They're helping me here. It's so lovely to see. War Raiders. Hopefully they can bring them down with Archer Fire. Watchman Axe Guard. That's actually a good opponent. It's good that the Axe Guard are fighting the Cro Iron Crown Warriors. These guys are effective against armor. They should actually win that engagement. We have some more Council's Guard here. Hopefully they're winning. It looks like they are winning the, the melee engagements here. It's looking pretty damn decent. They have some more sword guard here and wardens as well. They could fill up the ranks in the front line. Here comes my archers. The enemy are badly bloodied. Get They're in position. Yeah, I mean, Bree, Bree is crushing it. They're crushing it at the moment. They're destroying Angmar. They absolutely are. Get into position, archers. And fire. What do you want to fire on? Iron Crown Warriors. Do we have any halberdiers anywhere? They're over there. I think we should fire on the halberds. Yeah, focus the halberds down. They're quite scary. They could do a lot of damage. We don't want Bree to lose any generals here. Ideally, we want them all to stay alive. The rest of the archers move in. And empty your quivers on the enemy. Bilbo is not taking fire. That's good. They even have some spearmen in the back here to protect <laughs> their archers. It's really nice to see. Yeah, the Cav Merchant Militia is going in probably against the Angram Archers here. Are they going to break them? Hopefully they are. Are they going to get the charge off? Yes, they are. They might even break them here. Oh, 
out, possibly. You are firing at the Halbede still. We're weakening them with our superior archers. Uh, you could fire at the Iron Crown Warriors from that position. General, uh, maybe we should weaken the Wargs a bit as well. Yeah, you know what, fire at the Wargs. Now they're sending in the Wardens against them. They're going to crush them on their own. We don't need to fire there. Fo focus, keep focusing the Halbertiers. Greenways, Spigermen are moving in to try and destroy. Oh, they're breaking them. The Halbertiers are broken. Oh, the Ballista is focusing on my troops now instead. Of course they are. Is there any way we could like... Oh, they're interrupting the Ballista now. Good. Thank you, Bree. Focus everything on the Vorgs. Looks like everyone is fleeing away from the battlefield. Uh, Bree has some cavalry forces. Hopefully they can chase them all down to make sure that this army is no more. That is what I'm hoping. Yeah, Bree. Destroy them on their own. Continue. Let Bree chase. Give them let them give them the opportunity to chase. They didn't lose a single general either, I don't think. Looks like this unit. We we don't want to fire that. We don't want to kill one of their generals. Archers, try and follow the army and see if you can get some shots off on some of the fleeing troops here. Yeah, Bree. Legends. Absolute chads. That's what you are. 94%, that is enough. This is a clear victory. Well, would you look at that. Bilbo Baggins the Fearless crushed 2,000 troops from Angmar's forces. We came in and helped a little bit with 116 kills. We lost 7 guys, we took 1 or 2 ballista shots on one of our ranger units here. Nothing really big. We can retrain them in the next turn. Let's take a look at the kills. Uh, 38 on one of the rangers. Well, thank you Bree. Um, one less headache to think about now, and you are protectors of Fornost. You really are Bilbo, flipping hell, man. The greatest general in Bree. That's what you are. Well done, Bree. Well done. Absolute legends. Absolute legends. And we're free. Thank you, Bree. Thank you. Uh, they're moving back into Bree land territory. Bilbo, the defender of Arnor. Maybe Bilbo should be one of our most decorated commanders when we form together with Bree. Perhaps. It seems that he is a pretty decent general with a lot of command stars. Angmar, are you going to besiege? The They're besieging the fort. Feel free to do that. I'm not bothering. That's really good that you're doing that because then you're going to waste a lot of your armies there. And that's exactly what we want. Thranduil's Halls besieged. That is not a good sign. We have started the House of Kings. Retrain the commander. Uh, and we're getting a few more troops some wardens and some rangers are on the way here. That's good. Uh, Fenas Druin in Dunedain Barracks. Good news. So train the wardens. And give me the chicken farming here. Let's get some rangers, let's get some cav, let's get some armsmen, let's get some blade masters. Queue them all up. Anumina's, yeah, the school and the house of kings. Tharbat library, we're going for the Dundai militia garrison straight away because I don't want to risk losing this place. This might help a lot. Is there anything? Can we get any more mercs? No mercs. Let's try and move yes. over there. No mercs there either. Okay, pull back. We could try and move to this region. There might be mercs in Region, this area. So we could move in there in the next turn and take a look because I do think that we might need some more forces if we get attacked. Kamath Brin, library as well. Over here, we could try and go for the school to quicken up everything. Uh, we have the building, or we could go for this. It's going to take five turns for the school. Go for the master carpenters here. Aragorn, go inside. Wait there with the army. Yes. Iorthon, you're moving to the ranger hideouts. Fenas Druin in Ballista, that's going to come in handy. Metrith, a lot of troops has been retrained here. We're going to retrain all of these units as well. Can we get another spy? I want a spy. I want a spy on Dunland here. I don't think... 
Uh, fellas drawing in, can get a spy, can Ostsul get a spy? No. But Deadman Stike, Anuminas can get a spy. Tharbad? Yes, you can get a spy here. Let's get the spy here then, it's the closest place. Uh, yeah, I really want to see how their defenses are here. I do believe that Argon is a castle or a Mutton Bailey, so we might need a pretty large army in order to take it. Uh, let's take a look. Can we keep the peace here with you inside? You wish. Your will. Your orders, my lord. Yes, we can. We're losing a fair bit of gold, yes, but it doesn't matter. Move towards Metrite. We are getting the Dunedain war camp here, and then we're going to go for the roads. Uh, the thing is, it's really good that we are getting the Dunedain war camp here, because then we can recruit more rangers, more spearmen, and we need all of the rangers we can get, so Whoa, let's get the war camp there. All right, all right, let's diplomat. Let's move, keep yes, moving with you towards Adonaim territory. Oh, Candle is attacking Krukmahur. That's a good thing, let's move down there. The general is going to be done one turn as well. That's going to boost up the income there a little tiny bit. Really want some watchtowers here whenever we can get them. Yes, my lord. Uh, we are not going to get them just yet though. It's a bit risky. Stay inside for now. I will only you uh, in don't move out. Stay, stay inside. Ostsul is looking pretty solid as well. These guys are... Not retrainable, I think. No, because they're mercenaries, probably. Uh, let's then put these mercenaries into this fort. Victory See if we can get some free kills in this fort with this mercenary unit. And hopefully Angmar's going to attack it. And then we can get some free kills from the towers. Because then, yeah, he's free up here as well then. That's good. Okay. Well, we are still just uh, contracting. Can we retrain a few forces? Retrain the ranges there. That got hit by the ballista. We have a blacksmith that is going to be ready soon. After this one, uh, I'm tempted on going for the steward's hall to get a few more slots and one extra recruit um, free upkeep slot here. Would be pretty damn decent. We could go for the mining network or the great roads. Let's take a look at the great roads. Yeah, they're not going to boost too much yet, uh, but they are going to boost a lot later when. A lot more regions get better roads. The mines though are pretty solid. It's not too expensive. Four turns only for these mining networks with the Anuminas Guildhouse that we have here. Maybe we should go for the mining network then. Mining network or the steward's hall. I think mining network. But I also want to focus on military development here because this is one of our key recruitment centers. It's a stronghold, it's going to be a fortress when we upgrade it. Uh, so we are going to get a lot of recruitment slots here. And we, we are going to be able to get our best troops from this region, as well as Anuminas, of course. Uh, so maybe we should go for the Stewards Hall. I think so. Uh, Thorbert is getting the spy. Perfect. Let's get the spy and let's end the turn again. Let's see if we can get a look at that area and see how much military forces Dunland have there if we might need more forces or if we are okay with the army at Metrith. they might have a few forces there because it's a frontline region uh, to me so there might be more than we know there could be a pretty large sum of troops if we're lucky, they don't have any troops at all there. They might have two units inside. Then we can just nip in and take it quickly. Dunland is attacking my general. Okay. Uh, what are he? What is he attacking with? Let's take a look and see. Long spears. Well, we should be able to win this if we use our cards right. We have the rangers here, the general rangers. We don't want to lose it because he needs to stay alive. Let's take the fight though. Let's go in and let's try and take out these Dunlanding long spears. Attack. Start deployment. We don't want to get stuck in a melee with these guys because they are likely going to crush me if they have the numbers advantage since they are pikes. So we need to make sure that we keep the distance and use all of our ammunition against them before we clash with them. Pikes are 
painful to deal with. Um, let's take a look at my defense. We have 19 defense. So yeah, we're likely going to smash them in melee as well. But we are going to lose a lot of guys. And we don't want to risk losing our general here. He needs to stay alive. So keep up the fire. Weaken them as much as you can. And then we're going to kite back a little bit with you. Uh, we're getting a few kills on them here. That's good. Let's take this high point. Run into position. Are they moving back? Well, if they're moving back, don't rush away. Keep up the fire. Keep weakening them. It's when they're getting too close. We need to fall back a little bit. There we go. Go to this position. Take the high ground. Don't linger. There we go. Run. Uh, why does it look like we're walking? No, we're running. Why does it look like they're almost faster than we are? Are they? They are still only walking, and we're running. But still, it looks like they're f almost faster than we are. The thing is with the pikes, they're walking really fast. Uh, almost as fast as we are running, so... Give them one or two volleys from here, please. Slow down speed. There we go, we should be able to get a lot of good kills from this position. Yeah, there we go. Keep up the fire, keep up the fire. What's their stats? They have 7 defense, 4 in armor, and we are armor piercing, so their defense is really weak to archer fire. It is really weak to archer fire. We are weakening them pretty hard here. These Dunedain bodyguards are insanely powerful with their bows. Even though they only have 41 guys in a unit. They can have more if it's a factionaire or if they have some uh, traits to personal security. There we go. Killing a few more of them. It looks like they're getting a little bit tired here. It looks like they're slowing down a bit. There we go. I think we should move away now. Go, to, go over there. The run. Are they have we are winded. Uh, we don't want to get exhausted. That would suck. These guys are eager, but they have lost a lot of their force already. Fast forward, run away from them. They're stopped now, they didn't stop. They stopped for a second only. Look at them, they're almost equally as fast as we are. Give them one volley or two. Oh, we're at the board here, we need to take a new position. Okay, let's keep running. Get over there. Seven to five guys remaining. Come on, run and don't linger. Uh, they're beginning to catch up to us. These fast long spears. Don't want to get stuck in a melee. There we go, they're stopping. They're not stopping anymore. Okay, give them one volley quickly here. Don't linger too long because they're getting closer. There we go. Keep running. My guys are tired now though. Didn't get too many kills there. Honestly, if we went into a melee with them here, I think they would win with their pikes. So we don't want to get into a melee. And my guys are tired now. Remember, these long spears are only walking. They're not running. And my general is lingering behind. It, uh, they're actually faster than we are. It looks like they're fought. We're very tired now. Do we need to withdraw from this battle? I don't want to go into melee when my guys are exhausted. Yeah, they're about the same. Give them a volley. They're stopping. Try and get some good use out of that. Did we kill a single one there? Come on, hit your targets, guys. Hit your targets. There we go. Get those kills. They're probably waiting for their general here. Keep up the fire. When they're not engaging us, just keep the fire up. Why does it feel like we're missing a lot of our shots here? Hit your targets. There we go. They're just standing there eating up our shots. Well, let them. We are going to fire everything we have in our quivers. There we go, they're marching for me again. They have 57 guys left. 54. There we go. Go for one more volley before we 
run away again. I'm still not interested in fighting them in a the melee. Don't want to risk my general's life. There we go. 49. Can we risk one more volley? My guys are very tired. There we go. Good damage. Good damage. Kite away a little bit more and then we're gonna fire our last shots on them and then probably go into a melee with them. And look at how fast they are. They're so fast, it's insane. Okay, okay, okay. 40. Go for the final volley. There we go, they're beginning to slow down. Fire everything you have on them now and then go into melee. I don't don't like the... Oh, he's go, going back to safety, that's good. Keep up the fire, my guys are exhausted, that is not good. One more volley and then we're going in. We should be able to win even though we're exhausted. Surely. There we go. Go into melee. Bring forth the axes and destroy them. Please, this guy's getting surrounded. There we go. Kill them all. Kill. Victory seems certain. Oh, my general is already in the worst situation. Get push forwards, guys. Look at look at my guys. Look at how fast they're dropping here. Come on, guys. Save the general. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Save the general. 15 guys remain. If he dies here, there we go. He's getting a kill there. Wonderful work. Nice kill. 11 remaining, 20. Look at my guys. We did lose a fair few here. Pretty quickly. We killed that guy. Let's see if we, my general can kill the flag carrier. Behold how our Continue. Runs. It's time Try and kill the general the if you can. Fire a few shots on them. See if we can assassinate them all. The captain as well. Oh, I think he's going to escape. He's likely going to. Yeah. Yeah, he's escaping. But we kill them off. Good. Well done. Even though it was a scary fight, with us being exhausted, uh, we, we did destroy them. Good. Execute everyone, and we didn't get attacked a second time by Dunland. Good. Eh, oh, they are attacking my fort. Well, get on with it, because we have the wardens here. I don't think it's going to go too well for you. Uh, let them come. Let them come. Let's move into combat again against Angmar. Uh, they're going against my fort. We have the towers, we have the wardens. Let's crush them all. This turn of events. Another fort battle. Uh, we're just gonna try and maximize their casualties. Uh, are they going in here? Yes, they are. Okay. Space guard here. We want to use all of these towers. We have a lot of towers in this area. Uh, so let's try and use this position. Uh, stand over there somewhere. Go in guard mode. They have a tower. Uh, what do they have on the tower? Some regular swordsmen. I think I'm gonna put my guy these guys here because if we get the opportunity which this unit should be able to win on the walls with the tower support but if we win here we could then fight down here with the journeyman so let's get them to place themselves there archers uh, it's a pretty tight spot here not you you're the general but this unit if you stand over there really want to use this bridge here but we cannot use it so sad stand over there Take that off and fire on the side. So likely going to try and push forwards. General, I am not entirely sure yet where you should stay. Maybe here? Maybe here and try and fire from here if you could reach. Yeah, you know what? Stand over there. This might be a decent position for you. Uh, let's start the battle. Let's crush them all. Uh, you're not going to fire yet. Stop. Both of you. No, not yet. You might be able to... Oh, they have a ladder as well. Are they moving? Uh, it looks like they might move for this area. If you could weaken these hillmen, do that. You might actually take them down in a melee. I think you should be able to. You have the wall advantage. You can you can fight the hillmen. Weaken them as much as you can, even though you're doing the arcing shot. That's okay. That's totally okay. Because if you win here quickly, you could then fire down there. And that's exactly where we want you to fire, so... 
I think we have positioned pretty solid here. My towers are bombarding them, destroying them. Let's take a look. Yeah, you're doing well. Are you not firing anymore? No, you cannot fire. Okay. Where's my ca my general? Is over. Where's my? He's over there. Okay, he's in a good position. He's in a good position. As soon as they're moving up, bring forth your knives or whatever you have as a weapon, and destroy these hillmen. Bring it forth now. There we go. Bring it forth quickly. There we go. You should be able to win there, I think. Siege tower is over here. My gentlemen are ready to strike. Let's see if... Um, yeah, my gentlemen should win this one, I think. My archers are losing a fair few, though. The enemy's uh, breached the gates. It looks like they are maybe. No, oh, my guys are dropping fast here. <laughs> they are dropping pretty fast. Uh, we are going. Oh, they're. God, they're getting slaughtered. They're getting absolutely slaughtered. Let's compare the stats 2 3, Hillman 5 3. Okay, they have a much higher attack stat. Yeah, the towers might. Yeah, it looks like the towers are actually killing my own troops. Yeah, as long as we create this kind of defensive formation, the towers should hit the correct targets and we might even win in the end, hopefully. Blow the horn, keep the morale up high. The general still in safety, he's standing over there, so he's in a safe position. Oh, they have come, okay. Fire from the sides here. Fire everything you have. Here, the Angmarm infantry soon, they're gonna come as well. Can you give shoes a shot here while we wait for these guys to move in? Try and fire a few volleys before they arrive. It looks like they're firing their crossbows and javelins, not crossbows, javelins and archer shots. But we're firing back and we're doing a lot of damage to them. That's good. Okay, here they come. Switch to knives and swords. How does it look here? Uh, maybe I should have put my archer militia down here and fired on the walls instead because it looks like we're taking so many losses here. My general is still in a decent position though and the towers are firing at the hillmen. My wardens are getting seriously battered here. A lot faster than I thought. I'm gonna be, oh my guys are way back. Okay, it looks like we are gonna probably lose the fort here. Uh, it doesn't look too great. My guys are dropping pretty fast. We have killed 38 guys though. I was honestly expecting us to win here, but it looks like we are going to lose. Let's take a look. My general is in combat here. These guys are shaking. Let's see if we can win this one. I really hope that we are going to destroy this Hillman unit. Oh, he's dead. Flipping hell. Oh yeah, we're going to see a lot of breaking here. Uh, these wardens are still intact. Okay, archers, you need to pull back to here quickly because they have one. Pull back quickly before you get caught. Defend at the square. <laughs> uh, this is not good. Gentlemen, can you please stay here? Don't. Oh, they're putting the pikes up here. It looks like you're smashing them on the walls, but you are going to break as soon as these guys arrive. Yeah, you're winning against them for sure. Don't stay in combat. Go to the square and defend for your lives. Keep the battle going on as long as you can. Don't let it stop. Stand behind. Let these nine archer militia fight till the death with the hillmen. Please run. I'm telling you to run, not walk. Jesus Christ, they're just mopping you up here. You're just walking still. These nine, can you stop the hillmen here from doing anything? Get over here, try and fire a few shots. Yeah, journeymen are broken. Here comes the cav. Ugh. Yeah, didn't this didn't end as I wanted it to end. almost <laughs> certain. Uh, well, we killed 48% of their army. We weakened them pretty hard. Go for guard mode, try and fire a few volleys. I don't think you are going to be able to, but try. You can try at least. Journeyman, try and survive a few of you. 
There we go. Try and fire as long as you can. Don't go into melee combat because you're not going to do any damage in melee combat. It's better if you fire. I don't think you can. No, you're not going to fire anymore. Go into melee combat then. Fight to the death. I think this tower is firing. No. It's not. Not sure why it's not firing. Journeyman. Get back here. Try and activate the towers if you can. Ugh. I thought we would win here, but the uh, the Dunedain Wardens got completely destroyed too fast. It looks like the towers are activated again. That's good. Yeah, let's fast forward. This is over. The enemy are badly bloodied. Yeah, we killed a lot of them though. Uh, we have weakened them, and that's good. Yeah. 53%. Okay, I'll take that. It's okay. We weakened them. I'm pretty disappointed by the Dunedain Wardens. I thought they would do better, but they got totally overrun too quickly and got wiped out. Straight away. From their pikes, mainly. Their pikes did a lot of damage to us. Um, well, we weakened them. Yeah. Pretty sad. We're just gonna garrison that fort up again, though. Make no mistake. We're gonna send in a few, probably two wardens this time, when we garrison it up. I want to keep weakening Angmar in those forts with the towers. Orthanc under siege. That's good. Rohan is probably attacking here. Not that I think that they're gonna take it, but they're attacking, and that's a decent Your thing. Orders, uh, movement points doesn't look too Honor. bloody great here. Yes. Can we risk moving in here anyways? With no, honor. no mercenaries. You need to go yes. back there quickly. We need you back inside. Yes. Can you give me a tower here? Yeah, this give a little bit of extra vision. Go back hands. in there. Your order. Okay, mission failed. Argond. Yeah, we didn't block their port. Trade increase. Good. Yeah, we got the new commander there. Nice. He's making us a little bit... A little extra buck. Uh, Eorthon, yes, let's see now. Please keep yes. the peace here. Your orders, my lord. Yes, he can keep the peace. It's 120%. That's enough. Yes, Halbarad of lord. the North, I want you yes. to try and get some towers we and then go, no go and link up with the Kameth Breen army. Tomorrow. Deadman's Dyke, Blacksmith. Let's go for the Steward's Hall here. I want more free upkeep slots. We could retrain a few troops because we did get the Blacksmith. Retrain the Wardens, first of all, and the Rangers. Uh, I'm not going to retrain them just yet. Maybe in the next turn, probably. Fenas Duenin, yeah. Dunedain Bodyguards. Demon Dyke Wardens. Anumina's Wardens. Thorbad, a spy. Fenas Duenin, retrain. Metrith, Metrith, retrained. Is there anything more we can retrain? Retrain the general. Get some more wardens here. This general is on his way. He's almost there. We are going to move out in the next turn. Spy move to this area. No, that's not the spot. Get him back. It's only a archer militia. It doesn't really matter. Spy, get over here. Uh, well, they have a really weak army, but they have a pretty damn large army. These are flipping huge, these armies. Oh lord, a ballista as well. They are really weak. This is a lot of early tier troops that they have. A lot of early tier troops. But they have a lot of them. Frekalingir, oh lord. Yeah. Do they have anything more here? No. We have um, an Edwith over there. Oh well. Matrith, this army is not ready to go just yet, I don't think. What we could do, though, send the cab into the fort. And send this cab into the fort. And start sending these troops over. It's going to save us a bit of buck. You're going in there to be free upkeep. These Bree ladders can move into the fort as well. Let's save some money there. We are going to try and create a solid army here. The, the one thing that I'm hoping that these guys are going to do is to attack Tharbad, because there we could destroy them easily with the towers. Uh, that's the best thing that could happen. 
if they attacked me here so that we can get the opening with the force from here to try and take Argond. Uh, well, I'm not gonna go in as well, it's a castle. I'm going to attack it and probably let them sally forth because otherwise we're gonna lose so many troops when attacking here. So, yeah, I don't think we're ready to take it just yet. We need to strengthen up Tharbad as well, remember that. Okay, we're getting a few more forces there, that would come in handy. He's free now, he can roam around. That's good, that's good. Over here we're getting a few more rangers. It looks like uh, Angmar might attack me again. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let's send in a few more troops to the fort again. Two spears. Yeah, let's send two spears in there. Keep the fort occupied. Let's send a arch unit over there as well. And retrain the rest again. Is there anything we can recruit? Only cav. This army should be enough to hold them at bay. The fort is occupied. I want to try and get them to attack the fort and not Anuminas because I don't want to stop the construction turn from going down here. I wanted it, it to continue. 75% culture. We're getting that. We're getting that. That's good. Angmar is moving in with an army towards this fort, most likely. If they attack the fort, we're going to take the fight. Uh, these guys are just going to fight to the death, and hopefully the towers are going to do a lot of damage to them when they attack the fort. Alright, is there anything we can construct that we're not doing? Is there anything we can do that I haven't paid attention to? Diplomats, you need to keep on marching down to Adonaim territory. And then later to Dol Amroth and Gondor to sell map info Tomorrow's and earn some extra Banda. cash to us. Um, okay, let's end the turn again. We're turn 61 after this. Really would like some more vision. We should send an. Can we get another spy at Tharbad? We... We need that. I need to go and take a look at their forces in their main territory and see if they're trying to send something over to Tharbad. They might have another army on the way towards Tharbad. And I would be happy if we were prepared for that. We're still pretty weak. What do we have here? Captain, ugh, ugh. Oh, thank God. God. I'll to resolve that. Accept. Yeah, you survived. Good. That army. That we saw there. Oh, they attacked me at that new Ugh. I don't want the turn timer to stop going down. Nars could return to Mordor. We're still earning a few few bucks each turn. Kerandros reclaimed. Well done, Gondor. New mission, Barketa. That's a region we absolutely want to take. It's an Arthurdine region, and we can get our most elite troops from there. They're attacking the fort again. Uh, let them let them attack the fort. How about here? They're not attacking the fort there. Councilman Andy, are you here to support me? Uh, recruit the armsmen here. Recruit the blade masters. They're really expensive, but recruit them nonetheless. Fenners Druin in chicken farming over here. Go for the herbalist. Keep the growth going up. Ranger hideout. Uh, guild house. Let's see how much the roads is going to give. A few. Yeah, let's get the roads. Keloniak, Dunedain, War Camp. That's good. These guys are free upkeep. We can get a few more troops here. Uh, Rangers, Cav, and Wardens. Get them. I want to send them to this front line. Uh, whenever we have the chance. And we're going for the roads there. Good. We're getting roads in a lot of places now. And that should help us economically. Okay. You are headed yes. into Metrith to be the governor. You guys are going into the fort to uh, save us a few bucks. Okay, yeah. Oh, a flipping more Orthanc Ward. How easy can they get those units? Go back to Tharbad. Uh, are we going to be attacked here? Can we get any more mercs? No. Stay inside. Uh, there's nothing we can send here, is it? We could send a cav unit over. 
I'm pretty sure that this army is going to attack me, and they had all thank gods in there. Should I send these Dunedain cavalry over so that we could charge them outside of the settlement a little bit? I am going to. I'm sending these guys over as an extra. Then there's Dyke retrained, Anumnas, some more rangers. Uh, we could try and move into this region as well and take that. Let's send the spy over there and see if we can find this region. Karas Nurnaled, it's a mediocre garrison. They have a few troops here. We're not going to focus on that just yet. I want to try and take Argond. That's the main priority in this area at this moment to just cancel their troops from this area. I don't, I don't want them here. I want them only to be able to attack me from this area and nothing more than that. So Argond is a region that we really, really, really want to try and take from them. But we need to prepare. Uh, we have guys in the fort, we have forces here that we're going to send, and we are recruiting some forces at Kaloniak to send over to that area. Tirduin, you can recruit a, tr a few troops, get the rangers, get the wardens here. Uh, I don't think we are still unable to do offensive actions here, they, are just, they have too many armies here at the moment. We're still just going to hold here, unfortunately. The location where we are going to try and take offensive actions on Angmar at this moment is likely going to be here. Try and take this region from them. This is a huge city, probably a main recruitment center for Angmar. Try and get those towers. Um, Yeshan, we could probably just move out and take them out, but kind of want them to attack me because then we're going to destroy them so easily with the towers that we have here. Yes, my lord. Three turns for that. This is not going to be able to be completed before this army attacks me. Pretty sure that these guys are going to attack me. I would be surprised if they didn't. We have these guys. They had some all thank gods in there. But we have the Dunherd Berserkers. And they could probably counter them pretty well. Because they're effective against them. They're frightened nearby enemy infantry as well. That's pretty decent. This is a flipping good early game unit. It is. We could send even more cav in there, but we need these cavalry forces if we want to take the fight here. So we're not going to do that. Your Bilbo, do you want to support me down here as well? If you want to, move down with your army towards Argon and support me there. <laughs> that would be great if you did. What do they have in this army? Your orders, my lord. Let's take a look at that. Captain Hakun. A lot of wargs, nothing scary, honestly. We should be fine here. We have wardens, we have archers, we have volunteers here, it's no problem. We are going to let them take the fight though. My Diplo, Lord. keep yes. your journey going and get over there. Send a turn again. Let's do it. I really want to retrain the army at Kemeth Brin. I really want to retrain it. Want to retrain it all and get it up to strength and then move out with Aragorn and Halbarad together with that mighty force and move for I think Morvatar first, take away their tiny little settlement first and then go for the huge city that they ha have over there as well. Get rid of that would be good. Oh, they're attacking me there. Pretty scared here. Don't like this. Stand vigil, oh, the they're sending attacks. another army over. Oh, yeah, of course, they're attacking the fort again. This time they're a lot weaker. They have one ladder. Uh, well, let them let them do that. We're just going to smash them. This time I hope that we are going to smash them. <laughs> we, they still have these bloody pikes, though. But not too many of them left. I think we should be able to win here. Let's move in and hopefully we're going to destroy them this time. We bring them back. Okay, start deployments. All right. Uh, well, could we maybe even put put the guys here this time? Yeah. Guard here. They are not going to take this way because they cannot get anything from that area. Put the guys there. Go guard mode. Archers, you are going to stay here, and yeah, stay like that. And if they're sending their ladders up here, you're going to focus on the ladders first. Um, and then just bombard them down there. Spears, these spears are going to act as a 
secondary defense here. If we can form them up, there we go. Start the battle. You can reach Dang, maybe fire at them a little bit before the battle begins. Not too much though. We want to save ammunition for the possible blob that is going to start here. But you should be able to do a fair bit of damage to them. You're not doing the arcing shot, so we want to break this unit instantly if we can to just get rid of them so that this arch unit can focus on this area. The towers are beginning to fire. There we go. We are weakening these guys a bit. Stop firing. We don't need to fire anymore. There are 100 guys. When they're up on the wall, you're going to start firing at them. This pike unit is also a unit I really want to destroy. The wargs shouldn't be a problem. We have spears, a lot of them. The pikes is the only unit that I'm afraid of because they can push. They can push so flipping hard. That's the issue. You're also going to go into guard mode. Fast forward a little bit. Yeah, look at them. They're dropping so fast from the towers here. That's good. Okay, okay. Let them stay there. Slow down the speed. They're almost up. Archers. Fire at them again. Give them a few volleys. There we go. If we're lucky, we might even break them before they even move down or move for my archers here. They are shaken already. There we the go. Has the gates. Okay, they're moving down to the main square, towards my spears. Let them. They're gonna break instantly, I think, when they move into combat with them. They are not gonna last too long. Pikemen have lost. They have lost a few troops. They're moving in with the rest of their units now, though. The walls are no longer ours. The Let them come. This time I'm not going to lose the fort. And the unit we want to fire on first is the pikes. Focus the pikes down. They can do a lot of damage. But we have a decent position here with the archers. They should be able to do a lot of work from this position. Against... Yeah, there we go. Focus down those disgusting pikes. These infantry, these hillmen and the wolves are no threat. This time it feels a lot better. In the fort battle. Their wargs though are firing their missiles. It's a bit scary. We have killed a lot of pikes now. Focus down the wargs. They're doing a lot of damage with their missiles. Try and destroy them. There we go. They have a few Angrim archers in the mix as well. Here's the pikes. 28. Wardens just hold that line. Hold that line. Don't let it break. Don't let them push through. General, you're over there. You're in a good position. Or captain, I should say. You're not a general. Not sure where you are headed. There's nothing for you to gain here. Except death. Go for the walk skirmishers. Now the push begins, I think. Yeah, it looks like it. They are not able to push through just yet. Pikemen, 20 remaining pikes. My archers are doing everything they can against these skirmishers. We are weakening them, they're getting destroyed. But their melee line are beginning to push through a bit. But they are really weak, they don't have too many melee forces left. Send in the Breland militia. Plug the gaps. Fast forward, I think that we are going to win here. Feels like we are. Even though we're losing a few guys. Is this the general? Try and fight, fire at him if you can. Doesn't look like you can hit him. There we go, they're sending in the wargs. Go for the angry marchers. The wargs are going to get destroyed by my spears here. The general is going to die soon, he's over there. He's not going to survive for too long. You're out of ammunition. Enemy general fallen. Good. There we go. Break these angry marchers and let us be done with this fight. 91% of their army has been killed. That's enough. And the battle. Heroic victory. This army is no more. They have been destroyed. Good. Let them send another army. Please let them. We're just going to continue weakening them at these forts. Good job, Captain Nairon.
mercy, my lord. I have... Yeah, get rid of them all. And here comes the next attack at a new Minas. That's good. Let them attack. We want to get rid of their attacking army as soon as we can. Uh, let's go in and let's wipe Captain Harkon down as well. We attack. Maybe we should fight them this time at the beginning because the last time we fought here it clunked out the game. They didn't want to push forwards. So maybe we should fight them here this time. And on this bridge perhaps because then we know that they're going to be grouped up. So put the rangers here. Oh, it's clunky again at this battle map. Yeah, it's a bit laggy this time again. Archers, stand over there. Spears and free land units, stand over there. Oh, Jesus Christ, Cav, you can stay over there as well. Take that off. Okay, uh, you uh, stand prepared to stand over there and support. If you can stand over there. There we go. Defenders, uh, try and just plug this bloody bridge. Start the battle. We're gonna start before we move up accordingly. One of you are gonna guard the bridge here, and the other one is gonna stand on the bridge and guard the actual bridge. Just stand, fight them on the bridge. Let's see if we can just uh, fire on them from here instead. Take that off for now. We want them to be clumped up. We want them to be blobbed up when we fight them. Or when we fire at them. Okay, could you... Like, form up like that. There we go. They're firing at the gate with their ballista. The uh, enemy are are they, where the are they firing? No, oh, they're... Oh, they're using the... What? I've never seen this before. They're using the ram and the ballista at the same time. I think that they're one... They're likely aiming for my... Um, Volunteers here, but they're firing at the gate instead. Missing every shot. The enemy's ram has breached okay, the gate. Breaking through. Maybe we should send forth the wardens, just in case something bad happens. Uh, they can hold the line for a long time, so let's send them forth. The okay, the here they come. They're coming in with some pathetic guys first, but the main force is coming in after. Here comes the hordes. Yeah, they're missing every shot. They're firing at the building there. That's good. Oh, here they come. And the hordes are coming. Uh, focus on the thralls, first of all. That's a unit that's going to be in the blob. Guard this area. Doesn't matter if we get any friendly fire here. Uh, because we have these are just volunteers. They're going to respawn. Oh, there we go. This is exactly what, what, what I like to see. Them being blobbed up like this. Bloody love it. it. Looks like they might want to push through with the wargs here. Not a fan of that. Wardens, get your ass over here quicker. We might need you sooner rather than later. So let's get your asses over here and prepare to shield wall. Yeah, it looks like they really want to push through. Keep firing in the main blob. And we should be fine. This volunteer unit is doing well, though. It, it's nice that we have two of them. This one is getting shredded at the moment. Like it doesn't matter too much, though. Uh, as I've said, they are going to respawn, so... I'm not too sad about that. We're getting a huge amount of kills, though, with our archers at the moment. Wardens, you're in position. Go for shield wall and get your asses on the bridge. Delay them. Archers, keep up the fire in this main little blob here. Oh, we're doing good damage to them here. We're doing excellent damage to them. And they're still stuck with my eight guys here. That's bloody brilliant. You still not able to reach? No, we cannot reach. We're not going to pull you forth just, just yet. We're gonna wait before we bring you forth. Let's let the rangers do their damage first and then you can move in and fire. One guy remaining, he's holding up this entire force here <laughs> on his own. Where is he? Is he still alive or is he about to die? No, he's over there! Look at him! Can we get a kill with you? 
Oh, he's holding the line on his own. There we go. Come on. Get a kill. He's about to die soon, though. He's totally surrounded. Oh, he did get a kill there. Look at that. Yeah, he's doing everything he can. Ballista is aiming for the volunteers. That's totally fine. That's a unit that I'm not too worried about. Yeah, form up like that, please. Still alive and kicking, this guy. <laughs> not dead yet, and he's buying us the time that we need. What a hero he is. What a Chad. Absolute hero. Let's see. Hey, he got another kill. He's just destroying everyone in his path. They're firing at my wardens here. With their archers and skirmishers. Let them. It's no problem. Look at them. We're weakening them so hard here with the rangers. Keep up the fire in the main blob. My guy is still alive. He got another kill there. Look at that. He's not even blooded up yet. Is he about to die now though? Yeah, he's getting smart. Uh, he's going to die soon. Come on, guy. Can we get another kill? Please. <laughs> Imagine if this was a movie. What an epic scene. One guy surrounded by a thousand lads and archer fire raining down everywhere. Everyone is getting killed except him from the archers. There we go. He has died. You will be remembered. You will be remembered. And now they should move for the next line of defense. These volunteers here are going to hold the next line. They're sending everything in. Keep up the fire. Focus the wargs, maybe. Yeah, keep up the fire. We've killed 50% of them. They're sending everything in now. It looks like they might want to try and push. Maybe not. Might have stopped here. Only half the enemy yeah, that's force good. Remains. That's good. Still have a few wargs remaining. Oh, their ballista is likely going to do a lot of friendly fire here with those shots. Keep up the fire, rangers. Keep up the fire. 54%. Still on the line. We still have another defensive line here. The wardens. Be prepared to lay down their lives. Oh, they have uh, another Hillman unit as well. Okay. Oh, they're pushing through. We still have four guys remaining. Stay alive as long as you can. You're buying valuable time for my archers to maximize their damage. Oh, there we go. They're done with that unit now. 59%. Here comes some Hillman. This little force is really battered now, though. Still won't be able to fight. No, we cannot reach. Okay. Focus on the new, fresh Hillman unit now. Yeah, you have an ability. Pop that. Okay, the Hillmen are moving up. They are not going to break, break through these guys easily. The battle is very much in not, our oh, focus the war raiders in the out. back. Looks like they might want to try and push now. Pull back a little bit. Brelanders, is it your time to shine now? Yeah. The Wardens, we are going to retrain them later, so... Yeah, they're pushing all right. Oh, double kill. Yeah, you're destroying them. They're trying to push through, but they're getting destroyed by my rangers. Spears are getting kind of overrun here. Relanders, I guess you need to put up the next defense. They're likely going to push through my warden soon. Archers. Form up over here. If we kill the general, they're likely going to break instantly. But if we don't, they are going to destroy my wardens here. I'm telling you to run and you're still just walking. Why? You're losing guys with this. Freelanders, hold the line. Yeah, they're just running through with everything they have. Poor, poor wardens. I didn't want them to die this day. 
Hopefully we can heal a few of them and retrain them later. Okay, here comes the hallway again. Fire. They're just pushing through my bloody Bree landers as well. Flipping out. Come on. Bree landers, please destroy their general. They're going to break in a second if you do that. No, don't fire. Don't fight. Fire your bows. There we go, he's dead. Surely they should break now. These flipping hill men. Come on, Brelanders. There we go, they're broken. Good. Get rid of them. We fire at everything in the back. War Raiders are broken. Good. We've killed 81% of their army. We're gonna want to try and chase them all down later as well. They have a few archers here. Spears, the few we have left, go and engage them. Brelanders, go and engage them as well. Actually, archers. Fire at them as well. Go forth. They have a few guys still not broken. Surely they should break instantly though when we touch them. Pikes. Eight remaining. They're steady. Shaken, wavering. Come on, break them. Run away. Broken. Good. Go for the angry marchers. Shut those assholes down. But before we get there, fire a few volleys on them. What raiders as well? They're alive. Okay. Let's go in. Send everything in and break them, please. Cab, move to the sides. There we go. Good. Chase everything down. 94. Let's chase a little bit. I want to get some experience with these cavalry forces. Good, we can continue the construction on the House of Kings now with this victory. It's everything I wanted. Oh, the battle wasn't, wasn't even over. Continue, they had their ballista unit left. Yeah, that, there we go. That's the unit. Okay, that's enough. Exit. Heroic victory, we did lose a few. Let's see if we healed a few of the wardens. Mm, we didn't heal a single one. That wasn't too nice. Well, we healed the volunteers. Yay. We didn't heal the wardens, though. That was the unit that I hoped we would heal a few on, but not a single one. Okay. Well, we're just going to recruit a few more then, I guess. Well, good job here. Um, Anumanas is safe, and hopefully we can get that House of Kings constructed before they attack again. No. Okay. Okay. I'm thinking that we should probably uh, yes, Halparad, get over here, With honor, get me a tower, this tower, and try and move over there. Lands. Let's see it if we... If, maybe we should just move out and take them out later when Halparad is there. We want him with us. Uh, Metrith, Garrison, that's good. Um, what do you want to go for here now? 73%. We should probably go for the Dunedain Barracks here, because this is likely going to be one of the frontline regions against uh, uh, Dunland. Let's go for that. We have three recruitment slots here. Let's go for that, and then after, maybe the Ballista Maker. Fenris Druinin, Metrith, Deadman's Dyke. Metrith. Yeah, good. A few extra troops. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Is he on the way? Is Bilbo on the way again to Deadman's Dyke to support us in the war against Angmar? Is that what he's doing? I would fight for if it is, if then he's a flipping legend. Friend. Stuart Saul is on the way. That's good. And Anumanas. Can we retrain anything? Did we get... No, they're utterly destroyed, those guys. Train the rangers, train the cow, and train the others. We can only get trash here. 
six turns. Hopefully we can survive until then. Yes, my lord. Bandits. No, we're not going to get the bandits. I kind of want a decent spear unit here, though. My lord. Your attention is an honor, noble ally. Okay. Um, what I think we should probably do... We have one, two archer, ar archers with long range. We might want to try and sally forth here and maximize the damage because this army is actually quite scary. They have one cavalry unit, but I think we might want to sally forth, try and weaken them a bit before the attackers because even though they don't have a general, the, these guys are pretty solid, these guys are pretty deadly. The Orthanc guards are monsters. This is a healthy 1 in 28 of them. Don't like that at all. Warband sentries, a decent crossbow unit. Uh, what's the range? 140 meters. How about these? 140 meters as well. 130 meters. We might only use the ammunition on the general and the ranger, but if we can get 200 kills or 150 kills. It's gonna help. So I think we are going to try and sell it forth. We might only use the rangers and the general, the, the woodland hunters, the Bree landers. They don't have the range to do this kind of work. Uh, let's move in and let's see what we can do when we sell it forth here. Try and weaken them a bit. Attack! I'm not sh quite sure I remember how this works. I think. If we could fire from the walls, let's try and fire from the walls first. Maybe then we could even use some ammunition on these units. I think what you need to do, you need to send your guys out. Uh, and then you need to go back into the settlement when you're done. That's what I think you need to do. I'm not entirely sure how this works when you sally forth. I think that's how it works. Let's get all of these archers up on the wall. Let's see if we can reach them. You can reach. Weaken them. They're... Let's take a look. How was it? Your sally has been successful. You may leave the battle. Okay. As I've said, I think we need to... Okay. Okay, you need to move out. Move out. I'm only going to use these guys. We are going to send out the cavalry to counter any potential counter-attack that their cav might want to do against my archers. Let's send them out. Okay, we need to try and take out one. You, we need to focus. I don't. We are not going to focus on the Orthanc guards because we're not going to be able to kill them. The general might get a few kills on them. Uh, ideally, maybe the pikes. If we can weaken the pikes before the battle begins, then that's a decent thing. I'll just get over there. Cav, stand ready if something bad happens. Run. You're still stuck there. Come on. There we go. Okay, okay. Let's take a look. We should be able to have range. Yeah, you're in range soon. Uh, crossbows. No, they're weak in melee. They're not going to be able to get their shots off when they attack. The pikes. I think the pikes is the best target to focus down. They're weak to archer fire. We're going to get the maximum amount of kills on those units. Stand ready here. I'm going to risk sending the Woodland Hunters out as well. They can do some damage. Let's see if we can get them into range without them being interrupted. Okay, okay. Let's slow it down. We need to be prepared here to run away. You can reach the long space. Focus the long spears. They have one cavalry unit. We need to pull back as soon as they try and strike us if they want to do that. We're killing a few clan hunters while we're doing this as well. That's okay. Yeah, look at that. We're getting a few kills. Woodland hunters. How close do you need to go in order to be in range? Pretty close, I guess. We have the hill advantage, though. Okay, walk slowly. We don't want to move into range with the clan hunter. Okay, you're in range now. Try and focus this long spear unit. Okay, they're moving up. Pull back. Don't get into range. Oh, there we go. They're firing at us. I wonder, are they in range? If you, they are, maybe the cav should move out. Keep focusing down their long space, though. Focus this unit down now instead. Woodland Hunters, Warband Sentries. 
they're not in. They're, they're, okay, they're not firing at us. Don't move forwards. So you're you're in range for the clan hunters. Fire at them. Cav, pull away. We don't. We're not gonna charge them yet. Pull away. Pull away. If they go too close, that we are going to try and charge them. I don't think that they are firing. No, they're not. Clan woodland hunters. Fo focus the clan hunters. We have done a fair bit of damage to these disgusting long spears, though. What's the other unit we would like to probably try and weaken? Maybe the... Oh, thank God. They're actually in range. Keep up the fire there. You are not going to fire at all, thank God. The general is going to fire at all, thank God, though, because he has armor piercing. So he might get a few kills on them. Yeah, look at that. He has, he's actually getting a few kills on them. Use all of your ammunition on them. That's going to help. Uh, send forth the Brelanders as well. Uh, we might actually use them. Cavalry, let's see if you can get into range without exposing yourself. Take that off. Go forwards a little bit. Here comes the sentries. Okay, slow down the speed a bit. Yeah, they're moving for me. We need to pull back now. Let's pull back. Pull back. The rangers and the other ones have used all of their ammunition. Let's pull back. We don't want to take any shots from them here. Yeah, all thank... Oh, look at that. The general actually killed a few of this, this all thank god unit. That's really good. They're moving for me. Take position on the wall, uh, Brelanders. If they get too close, we're going to fire from the walls and we're going to let the towers do some damage. Woodland Hunters, move up on the walls as well. Everyone else, go back inside quickly. Go back inside quickly before it's too late. There we go. Yeah, all they're going to get some shots off against me here. They're likely going to get a few shots off. Oh, run fast. Quickly, quickly. Get away, get away, get away. Oh, they're, they're doing the arcing shot, that's okay. Go back inside, quickly. You're blocking the entrance. Woodland Hunters, get up. Oh, they're falling back again. Okay, well then, get everyone back in and let's exit out of here. We killed 20%, that's okay, that's okay. Okay, everyone is back inside. Can we quit the battle now? Your Sally has been successful, you may quit. Okay, I don't want to see when we go back to the campaign map now that it's it has been a defeat. A draw, no good. We killed today. 415 guys. Neither That's good. We have weakened them a bit here. Let's take Wait a look at the kills. The Bodyguards, 161. The Rangers, 188. And the Wooden Hunter, 61. It was worth it. It was absolutely worth it. Um, this is going to weaken them a little bit. It's going to make it easier for us when we defend here. Pretty worthwhile, I have to say. It was worth. Good. Pretty worthwhile. We still have it intact, even though it says that we lost the baggage train. Okay. We have weakened them. Uh, oh, thank God. We killed a few of them. We killed a lot of their long spears. They had two of them, and now they only have one left. So we destroyed one unit. And that's going to help. It is going to help. And, yeah. Pretty successful Sally Forth, I would say. Uh, I really want to get some more ranges here. Because then we could do even effect more effective Sally Forths. So maybe if two more ranges into Tharbad would be nice. We can get the ranges here when we have the culture. And when we have the war, war camp here. Which is a building we should go for. And the pikes, these Tharbad royal guards, would also be incredibly useful at that area. Look at the high ups. They have so many. Oh! Arlon and Orod has been upgraded. Look at this elven mighty stronghold. Hopefully they can help me a bit here with Dunland. I would be yes. really happy if they could. Well then, that Sally Forth was a success. Let's end the turn. Yeah, they're not moving with their army there. We really need to take Argond. They cannot have that.
it's probably a really good recruitment center for them. It's a castle. We need to take it out. We need to create a strong army in the south and wipe it out. We need probably need almost a fully stacked army. Not quite a full stacked army, but an army that is about 70-ish percent of a full stack needs to go down here because if we attack here, they're probably going to attack us and then we can take them out. Here we go, though. Captain Ruarachan is attacking me with what is left of his army after we sally forth. It's still a pretty deadly army. They still have 100 oh thank gods left. Air attack, 28 defense. Uh, missile attack, they're not going to use the crossbows in the fight, I don't think, so we don't need to focus that. But oh, they have, these guys are going to smash everything we have, except maybe the Dunherd Berserkers. We're going to want to try and use them where they are located, because these guys will take them out. Uh, yeah, this is likely going to be quite the tough battle, I think. But we should be able to win because we have the towers. Let's move into combat. We attack. Okay, start deployment. Uh, okay, what do we have here? The Dun... The All Thank God is on the ladders. That's the worst place for them to be at. It is. That's absolutely the worst place. Okay, well then. If they're formed up on the bloody ladders, we are going to put the general here. Oh, this is so good. This is not a good place for them. You are going to stand over here. I want you to take their assault on the walls. You can destroy them, your armor piercing. Let the general weaken them with a few armor piercing shots before they get up there. What do we have on the... Okay, what is this? This is the... Yeah, this is a pretty solid unit. 19 defense I think they had. That's pretty okay. What do we put to get up against those units? That's the question. Uh, maybe try and weaken these guys quickly with these guys and then them. And then try and put these guys over to fight them. Not sure if that would work. Uh, Brelanders, I'm gonna put you up here. Both of you, Rangers. Put them. Could we group you up a little bit like that? And the Rangers could stand over there, maybe? Okay. Woodland Hunters, stand over there. I'm gonna put one spear unit, one Breland militia up here. When they get too close, these guys are going to try and pull away a little bit. Cavalry. I think we need to move out with you straight away. Uh, should we move out here, maybe? Yeah. Go out from that area. Wardens. All of you. Shield wall and hold here. As long as you can. Hold there. Uh, bandits. You can support there and uh, strike from the side. You're likely gonna be needed here. Maybe even here. They might want to try and push forwards. No, stand on the side. That's okay. Okay, cavalry. Uh, general, it's important. Uh, actually, oh, you are gonna fire. You are gonna fire as well on the... Uh, oh, thank god. Okay, you. These units. Where do we fire here? Sp fire at the pikes. Cav, move out. We're gonna try and weaken them with the cav a little bit as well. Why would they send their orphan guard on the ladders? It's pretty weird. It's the worst position for them. Now we're doing the arcing shot. Uh, Dunlany raiders, warband sentries, uh, clan spearmen. Go for these units here. I'm pretty scared of the Warband Blades, but if we're lucky, the towers might be able to destroy. It's 24% already. That's pretty good. The enemy have ladders oh, thank God. 91. We're killing them. We're dropping. The 89 now. The general is probably killing a lot of them with his armor-piercing missiles. The towers are helping, I guess. Uh, you can fight something else now. Fire at the Warband Host. Go for that unit. Woman sentries are going off my cab. Ignore them. We don't want to charge them. Here they come. Here the Orthanc Wardens or the Orthanc Guard comes. But we have armor piercing guys on the wall. They should do well. They should do well. Siege Tower. 40% damage now. That's good. We have spears that's going to hold here. 
As long as they can, they're gonna die quickly though, I'm pretty sure. Cav. Um, go for the Warband Host. Try and charge them down. 40% on the gate. Hopefully this siege tower is going to be destroyed because then they're gonna die. Let's take a look. They've moved up. Oh, they're strong. But we are winning. We are winning the fight here. Yeah, they're wavering. They are wavering already. Yeah, they're getting too swamped. And that, these guys are more piercing. They're scaring these guys as well. So we are going to win that engagement. I'm pretty sure. Cav, you're charging these guys in the back. That's good. Uh... You are going to move over here as well. Breached the gate. They've breached the gate. Okay, okay. That was a decent charge. Did a few. Let's take a look. Are they broken yet? They're still wavering. You're going to have to hold here for dear life. These guys are up on the walls now. How is it looking? 47% damage there. Try and go for a charge on this unit again. Oh, I muted the game. Sorry. I do that sometimes. The are no longer ours. The enemy have taken them. Yeah, the towers are supporting us here. I think we should move down with you. Try and position yourself over there. And take the safe way as well. Take the safe way down. Take that off as well. Get down there. You're holding for now. That's good. And we have one here. Bloody brilliant. I want you to help against the Warband Blades. But defeat seems almost certain. You're holding. We're interrupting the Warband host with our car. We're losing a few cavalry units. I didn't pay attention there. You're about to help against the Warband Blades. That's good. Uh, is there any way we can form you guys up better? Can we like form you over like that? Like that. Try and move like this. And maybe we can fire down here. Bandits, I think it is time for you to move in. Because they're just pushing through with everything they have. Of course they are. They love doing that, they are. Cav, you're going to wait outside and chase down everything that is broken. You are you have moved. Okay, good. Try and fire down there. Rangers, can you like do what I'm telling you to do? Go like that. Okay, I think you have formed up. Brelanders... Please try and form up accordingly and Woodland Hunters stand like that and we should be able to get some good shots with you off here. As long oh, look at them. Okay, bandits, you need to go in. They're pushing through. My guys are getting destroyed here. Well, well, my blades are shaken. That's good. Keep up. Oh, they're moving after my archers. Relanders. Okay, they're not they're stopping. Okay, 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 okay. Get as many shots as you can. They're likely going to try and interrupt you though. It's more important that the Woodland Hunters get their shots off because they have a much better missile attack. These guys are moving up on the ladders. Okay, ignore them for now. Keep up the fire. Keep up the fire. Yeah, they're definitely going to interrupt me here. They are shaken though. They're broken. They're broken. Good. Perfect timing. Keep up the fire. You're still firing. Good. Keep that up. Yeah. What about host? Come on, break these warband blades here. We want to send these guys over here to support against the host. I don't want my rangers to be stuck in a melee here. My general is still firing though, that's really good. Uh, raiders are moving in. Okay, we killed the general. Here's We're going to see the chain reaction now, I'm thinking. Chase after these guys. Hopefully we might see the chain reaction now. My front, we are losing a lot of units there. We are lost 43% of our army here. That's not good. If they have another army on the way, we have, we're have we in the shit there. We're, we're going to have a lot of issues. Get over there and break these clan hunters. Rangers, fire again on the long spears. You can find the long spears as well. Don't let these guys return to the fat battle. Chase them off the face of the earth. You're free to fire again. Feel free to fire then. Yeah, a lot of them are breaking. That's good to see. Uh, you can keep up the chase with these units. You are going to try and chase after these guys here. We are going to win this battle. We have lost a few troops though. 
which is not that nice. Uh, these guys are broken. Everyone is broken, I guess. Except their main line that they have here. Warband sentries is likely the last unit to fight. Killed 68%. We need to get it to 90 because I want to wipe this army out. Continue the battle. Kill everything we can find. Go after them. Pull away. Yeah, look at them. We need more wardens here. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to defend here one more time. We are not going to keep up the chase. Actually, chase after this big blob here instead. And rangers, you can fire the clan hunters. You can do that as well. Yeah, we are out of ammunition, okay. You are going to help with the blob. Okay, good. I'm happy that we won here. And I'm really happy that the all thank gods went up the ladder. That was the worst thing they could have done. 82%. We need to get it to 90. I'm not risking. Oh, we're losing a few cavalry units here from the towers. Go for this unit instead. Go away. Move away from the towers. Come on. Move away from the towers. Go after the war. No, why are you stopping? Come on. Have they one unit that has glitched out here or what? There we go. Good. 92 percent. That is enough. Okay. Yeah, look at that. We did lose a few units here. A great victory, worthy of only uh, the mightiest of generals. We need to strengthen Thorbad again with more. Because if they attack me with a similar army, we're not going to win. Uh, we won't have the numbers. My wardens did manage to hold the line, but they got completely wiped out in the process. So we healed a few of the berserkers. That's good. We need more spears here. We need s some guys that can hold the line. If we are to survive her again. We are going for the militia garrison though. That's going to help a little bit. But we need to be able to get some troops here. And retrain our troops. Well we did win. Uh, that's good. Uh, we need more forces here. Pronto though. Okay. Pretty sweaty battle. We won't be able to survive the next time. If they come with a similar army. So. We need to prepare ourselves. I'm not sure the guys from the fort can reach the Thar, but we should send something over, though. Uh, one warden and one more ranger, probably. It's likely what we need there. Well, Skiliath lost. Gondor, you need to take it back. Two turns for this one to be completed, though. That's really good. We need it. We really need it. We need it desperately. Uh... No. Your orders, my lord. Okay. Large city. And Numinas can be upgraded. We're not going to go for that just yet, though. We are going to go for this one first. It's five turns left until we get to Arnor. Dead Man's Dyke. Steward's Hall. Good. A few extra slots here. We can go for the Royal Hall now, but we are going to go... We could go for the Dundine Royal Barracks here. But I want it to be at 76%. Go for the Armour. Go for the Armour. That would probably be, be beneficial. Get some better armor for the troops. Let us settle matters Are you going to attack the fort? Please do. Weaken yourself there. You. Fenas Druinin has gotten a few extra troops. Uh, good. They are going to be sent up north. Yes, my lord. Towards. Uh, do we risk getting a tower here? Yes. yes, we are risking a this tower there. Tower Try and move back to Kemet Bryn. Your orders, my lord. And Kemeth Brynn, of course. Uh, Culture-wise, we're 34%. Really want to move up to 50%. Uh, four turns it's going to take for the bloody school. Uh, go for the hunting camp. Because then we are going to be able to train these woodland hunters. Go for this one. And then we're likely going to go for the Dundam war camp. We have two rangers with us. Kind of wanted to be up to 50% though. 
Let's go for this one first before we do anything else. And then we probably likely need to go for the war camp. Even though we're not going to have 50% at that time. Okay, 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 okay. Thorbad. Any more mercenaries you can get? No, not here, not there. How about here? No, no mercenaries. Okay. Uh, we need to send send one ranger and one spear unit over. It's going to take one extra turn, but they are needed there desperately. We need them here. Uh, we don't know. They might have another army on the way. We should try and get... We cannot get another spy. Okay. You're in the fort. We are getting troops at Keloniak, the ranger type troop. What are you doing? Where are you headed? Are we bordering them somewhere? No. They shouldn't attack Tirduin. We can upgrade Tirduin though. Let's do that. Is there anything else? Have I. I think we've just recently. That's really good that we can upgrade Tirduin. It's going to make us earn more money. We should be able to get the roads there. That's going to be super useful. Is there anything else that we could do that I've missed? I don't think so. Okay. Come and get me, you coward. We have money in the bank. We are earning a little bit of money. Um, Osul, well, it looks like they're coming again. So get a few Breland militias just in case. Uh, this army is likely going to attack me. Also, they might stop at the fort with this army. It looks like they have their Mount Graham Marauders here. Let us settle matters on the field of battle. I think we are going to sit here until we get the war camp out and so that we can actually retrain this army. I really want to retrain it and get it up to strength. Your orders, my lord. Yes, my yeah, let's wait. Let's wait here until we have strong enough, a strong enough force. Uh, and these guys are likely going to wait here a little while because they're free upkeep at the moment. And before we move them out, at the time we, when we move this army out, it's gonna be, it's gonna be when this army is almost completed and ready to go. Uh, these guys are going to reinforce this area. We're going to try and strike from here. And when we have the power, which we don't have yet, we don't have the military muscle or the economical power just yet to fight them at this area as well. We cannot go offensively here, here, and against Dunlan at the same time. We don't have the military muscle or the financial power for it just yet. But we are getting there. With the upgrading of Tirduin, we are going to be able to get the roads here. That's going to get some brilliant wealth to us which would help a lot and look at that Numenas it's earning us so much money at the moment Deadman's Dyke is not earning too much though because we're surrounded by Angmar armies everywhere they're probably blocking all of the trade we're getting here so yeah this would probably be a better money maker but for now it's not the best money maker the armorer is gonna help Superior chainmail. I wonder what do we need to get in order to get the Numenorean armor? I think we only need the armor. We don't need it anymore. Maybe we should then go for the Numenorean armor here after this one has been completed in order for us to have the opportunity to get the best troops available with the best possible armor. I think it would be worth it. All right, uh, we're just standing still at the moment with our forces. You are headed towards Thar, but hopefully you can get in there before they send another army. This one is completed in two turns. Let's end a turn. I'm risking it. Oh, please don't attack me, Dunland. We don't have the power to survive another attack. Did someone come of age? It sounded like it. Is Eldarion finally 16 years old? Let's take a look. We need him. We need him to govern somewhere. A wealthy region if he's a good governor. Maybe Tirduin. Because we are getting uh, it upgraded. Maybe he should govern. I think I think Tirduin... Oh, oh, they're attacking Halberd. We cannot withdraw. Just... There we go. He's back. It's fine. It's fine. He's going to replenish. It's no problem. That was actually good. <laughs> that they attacked. Because now he's back at Kemetbrin, So, Perfect. Thank you, Angmar, for attacking Halberd. He's back into safety. 
we need to take a look. Baggage train lost. We're still earning money. 4k. Uh, Coloniac dirt paths. Uh, leather tanner. Easy, quick, cheap building. Apothecary. Uh, happiness. Retraining cost reduced. Public health. Sheep farming. It's pretty expensive. What is the highest tier university? Public. Okay, to happiness. It's not the best one. It's not an economical building. Doesn't provide in tradable goods. Let's go for the sheep farming then. Uh, Ostsul, a few extra. Brilla militias. Deadman's Dyke, a few extra troops. Tirduin. You're not free upkeep. But then again, you're going to stay there because these guys are going to head on out. Coloniac, also a few troops. Anumines has been retrained. You're going to stay there. You are going to head on out. You are also going to head on out. It's going to be expensive, but uh, gather at the fort. All of you. You are going to head into Tharbad. There we go. We're trying to gather an army at this fort. And these guys are going to join as well when we have the opportunity. We get the ranges here. Yeah. We're going to need all the ranges we can get. Get the cav as well. And we are soon going to get the Dunedain barracks here. Which means that we can get a few extra troops here that could be of real help when we strike at Argond. Um, we're just going to prepare an army here. We need a solid force if we are to taking Argond here from them. I'm not sure where you're headed. Are you moving for Kemeth Bryn? Is that where you're going? Could be, could be. Oh, they have upgraded Mengelen. Bree has upgraded Mengelen for me. We haven't... Oh, that's... Thank you, Bree. I love you. I've said it a lot of times. Are they going to attack me again here? Please don't. I respect you, my enemy. We're almost there. It's only four turns. I don't want to be attacked here one more time. Um, It's only four turns. Get a few extra troops here. It will be they have a ballista, they have a general this time. Well, let them waste their troops, I guess. Go for the fort instead. <laughs> That's why we have our ga garrisons there, because we want to lure your armies into the fort and not to my cities. It looks like they ignore this fort. I would fight for your people as if All they were right. my own Just friend. Stay calm, stay safe. Free upkeep two, free upkeep one, and this is gonna be one extra free upkeep. That means that these two are gonna be free upkeep, but not anyone else. Because we don't have the Duna and War Camp culture, is at 37. Slowly but surely getting up there. Should we go for something? No, we should probably get this one, even though we won't be able to train the jet ranges straight away. We should probably do it. Spy, you're not needed here anymore. Let's scout north instead. Movatarth, here it is. This is the target that we want to go for when this army is ready. And then we don't want to linger here. We want to move on out for this Mount Graham straight away. That's a really huge recruitment center for them. If we can take this, then we're going to critically weaken them pretty hard. And of course, Condom is their best. It's a fortress. This is also a really strong recruitment center. Let's just take a look. Did we get someone coming of age? It sounded like it. I just, just need to double check. We didn't get the message though, but I need to double check. No, we didn't. Let's take a look at the family tree. Uh, okay. Uh, he's the oldest one. He's 15 years old. He's soon gonna be coming of age. I think we should send Eldarion to Tirduin. Because this is going to be a huge moneymaker later when we get the roads completed here. I'm pretty sure that it is going to be a huge moneymaker. So he's likely going to sit in there at Tirduin. Okay, Tharbad feels a lot more safe. We are going to get the Dunda militia garrison here. It's completed. It's going to be there if they attack, even if we end the turn. And we have gotten another ranger unit and another warden unit here. Culture-wise, we're at 30%. That's good. End the turn. I, wa I wonder how many free upkeep slots we have at Tharabad. Maybe we should try and go for the war camp there as well, to so that we are able to retrain a few forces there. 
we should also get the building that could quicken up the construction time at Tharbad. I wonder, can we get the Anumina's Guildhouse at Tharbad as well? It's a major Numenorean region. So, uh, what do you have? Captain Nyaglas. Ugh! It's only 15 of them. 57 Orthanc Wardens. 10 Cell Swords. We could probably do it. Uh, they only have 15 of these. Uh, we could probably... This is going to be a tough one, though. We have cavalry, but uh, the spears should be able to hold the line. They have some long spears. Um, yeah, let's take the fight. We need to weaken these units. We don't want them to be retrained. Absolutely not. Let's take the fight. Let's hope that we can win. I'm not sure that my cab is even going to be able to damage the Orthan guards if they charge them. We're going to have to hope that they can though. Take that off, start the battle. You're going to be in guard mode and just try and hold their hordes off as long as you can. Did they have any archers? Clan Axemen, Long Spears, oh thank god of course, they are, these guys are not, and neither are these. Uh, focus down the Long Spears, Cav, with your Archer shots. That's a unit you will be able to shoot down, and it's one of their scariest units because they can push through my shield wall, so I'm try and weaken them. Uh, oh thank god though, I'm not sure that we are going to be able to weaken with our shots. Go, focus the Long Spears. They have 57 of these Wardens. They're gonna carve through my uh, my Wardens. There we go, we're destroying a few of these Long Spears. Brilliant work. Crossbows, are you about to fire? Yes, you're doing the Arcing Shot, that's good. Clan Axemen are trying to go for my Cav. Cut away, stand behind the Wardens. Let them engage the Wardens. Don't want them to attack someone else. Fo keep focusing the long spears. Raiders, axemen, wardens are going to be a they are going to be a problem, but the axemen and raiders, no, they're not the problem at all. Uh, thank God, wardens and pikes. That's the units that we need to watch out for a little bit. Wardens, it looks like they want to try and flank me. up the focus on these units. I really want to see them just going in here. We continue like yeah, they're going this, in. That's that's the best the thing. They are also going in. That's good. 22. Cell swords. They have the general in that unit. Maybe we could try and charge that unit and try and destroy the general. We could try. Are you trying to fire at the... No, you're not doing the arcing. You're firing at my cab. Okay. Cab, pull away. We want them to focus the Wardens with their shots, because then they're likely going to do the arcing shot, which means that they're not going to hit anything. Well, these long spears are no threat anymore. Do not fire anymore. Ignore those units, we're not going to pay attention to them. Try and fire at the cell swords if you can. We're going to try and kill their general. Give them a few volleys. The oh, thank god has stopped. There we go. Kill a few. Let's see if we can assassinate. The Wardens are doing well in the front lines, even though we're facing the Orthanc Wardens here. They're doing pretty damn okay against them. What? How did you do this? How did you split up like this? I didn't tell you to do this, but it's pretty nice though. We're firing on two sides on the mere. That's pretty nice. <laughs> Let's see if we can assassinate the general here with archer shots. Not sure that we're going to be able to. Someone cho is charging. Cell sword is charging. Go together again, please. Yeah, the cell sword unit is tough. Group up, cab, please. And we're going to try and charge down the cell swords. Fire it will on. The wardens are doing really good here. They're doing so good in shield wall, it's insane. These axemen are not going to do anything against me. 
Okay, good, you have grouped up. Go for a charge straight on against the cell swords. Let's see if we can assassinate the general here. We're not killing too many of those wardens, but we are holding the line. Let's see if we can assassinate him here. I don't think we are going to because our charge is incredibly weak. But we are stun locking them here. So stay in combat as long as we can before these guys arrive. Stun lock their general and see if we can kill him here. Surround him and stun lock him. Keep going with that. They're getting closer. Let's see if we can kill him before they arrive. Come on. You can do it. I know you can. They're getting closer. We might need to pull away now. Yeah, pull away. They're too close. Let's see, have we killed a single? No, we're not killing the wardens. They're plowing through my men. Uh, but my guys are holding the line still. Go for a charge on the general. And then we're going to try and charge the front line. And then the wardens are going to try and tie up the orphan guard. And then we're going to try and charge them in the back. Come on. You're going the wrong way. Go after their general. Come on, let's see if we can get a charge in his back. Yeah, he's dead. Good. Good, these guys are broken. Let's charge the wardens in the back and hopefully we can break them straight away. Don't linger, don't stay here. Uh, we lost one guy there. Charge these guys in the back and hopefully we should be able to break them. Even though they're really tough. Are you even gonna charge? Yes, you are. Good. Look at that, we didn't kill a single one of them in the charge. A few, one or two guys. Okay, a few more than that. Pull out. Do it again. Let these guys fire. We're not going to charge them. They're going to destroy us if we charge them in the front. Move out. Do it. Do the same thing again and hopefully we might break them this time. Come on. There we go. We are charging. Look at that. We're not killing any of them. A few. Five units maybe. Okay, a few more. Ten. Come on, break them. Break them. No, they're not gonna break. They're not gonna break. Pull out. Oh, these buggers are tough. Let's try and go for a charge on these units. Even though we're tired, we're not gonna kill it. I don't. Let's take a look. They have 15 guys. Are we gonna kill a single one here? They have 28 defense. They're not prepared for us though. Actually, we killed a few. We kill a few of them. Get out of there though, because they have spears. They're gonna destroy you so quickly. Oh, there we go. They're killing us. So many of my guys now. Kill a few of these wardens. 17, 16. They're wavering. Come on. Get them to break. 14 remaining. Come on. Jesus Christ, oh, 13 remaining, we're not breaking them, and their wardens, or oh, their guards are firing at my cab, weakening them, pretty much. We need to get rid of these flipping wardens and long spears now. Try and go for another charge on these units to see if we can get uh, one or two kills. We need to pull out quickly though. Yeah, we did get one or two there. Move out quickly. Don't linger. You're gonna die in a second. There we go. We killed like one guy there. There are ten guys remaining. Surely this charge should break the rest of their armies. Or this warden unit. Come on. There we go. Ugh. Oh, they have a spear? No, they don't. Eight remaining, we killed one guy with the charge. We're not breaking them. It's still pretty damn close. Break these long spears. They're in combat now, just go in and break them. Come on, please let us be done with them here. Long spears, there we go, they are broken. Focus everything you have on the wardens. Are they done? Yes, they are done. 
Wardens, go after the Orthanc Guard now and let the Cav charge them in the back. Oh, Jesus. We have lost so many units here. Nine remaining. Go for a charge. Let's see if we can get a kill or two. Come on. No, that was a pathetic charge. We didn't even charge them. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if these Orthan guards won the battle here. Take that off. You're not formed up accordingly here. You need to surround them and just try and. Okay, we might win here. That's good. Behold how our cowardly foe 98 and end this. end this. Is a clear lost so much here. Well, we destroyed that those units. It's okay. It was a worthwhile victory. I'm starting to wonder if Argon is one of those locations where they can get these Orthanc troops from. If it is, it needs to fall. But we are preparing for it. And it's gonna take some time before we can actually strike it. And they are attacking me. Again, at a Numinas. Taking away our turns on uh, the House of Kings. Yet again. But if we upgrade the House of King and then upgrade Anumenas into a city and rebuild it, my towers should be able to come alive, I think. Oh yeah, here we go. Ardenheim is setting sail for uh, Mithlond. That's gonna be an issue for us. Faction announcements. Ranger Captain Eldarion. He spawned over here. This is not the location where we want him to be at. Retrain the... are these? No, they're fully stacked. Okay, retrain them. Uh, why aren't you free upkeep though? That is a thing I'm wondering. That's weird. Okay, you are free upkeep. Okay, good. Retrain those and bring me the Culture 39. Ah. Really wanted to be at 50 when we go for the this one. Is there anything else we could go for? Lumber camp before we go for this one. Let the tanner. No, go for this one. Go for it now. Tharbad over here. Let's go for the carpenter's hut. Culture wise, we're at 32%. Fenas Druinin. Good. This army is ready to go soon. It looks like Angmar might want to I attack me you, at Kemeth Bryn. Let them come, uh, because we have an army here ready to destroy it. And Ranger Captain Eldarion. Seems that you're a pretty decent governor, I think. Dinemen is likely going to sit at Kemeth Bryn when we move out, and you are going to head on home and move for Tirduin. Where are you headed? Where did you come from? They have one fully stacked army here. They have one fully stacked army there. They have a lot of armies just standing outside of Thedman's Dyke. They are attacking me at the Numenas. Go to Matrith, retrain yourself. Alright, uh, this army might strike us at Ostsul. I'm expecting them to. Can we get anything more here? Get the archers. Can we get any mercenaries? Yes, my lord. I think we might need them. Yes. Not even in this area, not even in, in Breland territory we can get mercenaries. Go back. Honor. Well, we have the defenders here. We have another archer on the way. This army is going to be pretty tough to take down, even though they don't have a general here. We need more guys there. We need more units and ranges. Bloody hell. We're going to link up to the fort as well. We're still just waiting, biding our time here. They won't be able to attack me at Fenas Druinin either. I think maybe we should move out. Start moving, start moving out. It's a bit risky, but uh, let's go. And it's gonna cost us a bit as well, but let's go nonetheless. Let's go. Um, 
How is it going for my poor, poor diplomat? Yes, no He's more. stuck. Keep moving. Without question. Go to Umbar. Stopping here. Your orders, my lord. As you command. Pathetic army. Whenever you want to attack me, just do it. Let us be rid with your nonsense. Okay, let's end the turn. Let's see what Angma does here. Expecting them to attack Ostsul with that fully stacked army. We have a pretty decent army there though. We have a lot of rangers and we have the general and we have the volunteers. We should be able to hold if they do attack us. We're going to fight in the hill and just try to fire at them when they're blobbed up to the max. Surely they're going to attack Ostsul here. Angmar, are you going to strike me? Oh, they're taking me fort. They didn't do anything else. Oh, look at that. Is Agendaur on his way towards Edmund's Dyke? He might be. He might very well be. Where did that... They are going towards Kameth Bryn. Why, yes, though? Why? Yes. Ranger Hideout has gotten itself the road. That's good news. We need that. This is pretty damn expensive. I'm not going to go for that just yet. Is there anything else we could, could go for here that would be cheap and give us a lot of wealth? This one. Excellent harvest. Not too much money. Um, chicken for boost the growth, maybe, the population here, because then we would earn even more money. Go for the harbourless. It's a cheap building that is going to boost the growth, hopefully. And Matrith, Dunedain Barracks. Look at that. We can get a lot of troops here now. Pretty damn nice. Go for the Leather Worker. And Leather Tanner at Kaluniak over there. Let's go for the growth. Herbalist and the Chicken Farming. Matrith. Even though it's really expensive, I really want you to give me some decent melee forces. Ideally these two, and maybe some cav. It's gonna be really expensive though, but let's go for it. Let's go for it. We need more forces if we are to take Argon. They still are, they're just standing here with these armies. Doing nothing. Head into the fort. You are on the way there to be retrained. Go in there and retrain yourself. Stop that and retrain this unit instead. There we go. You are headed towards the fort. We are beginning to soon have a pretty strong army that should be able to take both of these armies out in one go. We should also... I really want to try and get this one. The Bridge of Thor, but it's really expensive though. I'm not sure they want to put our wealth into that just yet. These Woodland Hunters has been retrained. Let's I matters on the field of want I these armies to attack me. Battle. If this army, or if they have any army out here, we might need to move out and take these units it out be before we move to more, towards Morvatarth. Go to Kemeth Bryn. Uh, even though it's really expensive. We have five slots in here. We can easily fix it so that we have one extra slot though. We could take away these archer militia. They're not going to provide anything for us anyways. Okay, well, just keep ending turns, I guess. I like that he is on his way because then we can just destroy him, which I really want to do. Uh, do I want to sell it forth here? That's the question. They have a ballista, they have a general. We don't have. No, I don't want it. We have Breela militia. They're not going to do any well if we sell it forth. No, we're going to let them attack us. They have a ballista. I don't want to sell it forth. Hopefully Bilbo Baggins, though, is on his way to save us here. We have three turns on the House of Kings before we become Arnor and get all of these lands. Amon Sul looks safe. Send these guys into the fort for now. 
Uh, let them be free upkeep. Doesn't look like they are going for us. They c okay, they can actually reach us. Still. So uh, they could go for us if they want to. I don't think that they are though. Let's end a turn. Let's see what happens. Will Angmar attack me finally? Did we get another coming of age? I hope that we did because we need more governors. I want a governor at Kiloniak as well. I want a governor at every single location that I'm owning. Let's see. Ranger Captain Eldaran is the future of the Kingdom of Arnor, so we want to keep him safe. Aragorn would never allow his son to be in danger. He needs to protect the kingship. Okay, you're attacking our fort, Captain Eirgjard. Um, we have a few wardens left. What's the clock? I need to... St okay, I think I can squeeze this little fort battle into the episode as well, but I really need to go after this. But I'm going to fight this battle before I end this episode. I'm not thinking that we are going to win, but we are going to try and weaken them as much as we can. Let's move in. Yes, Milo. Start. Okay, we have a few extra spears. Uh, ladders. Who is going up on the ladders? Regular dudes, it looks like. Mm, we have this position. Uh, we really need to fight them so that my towers are active. It's crucial that we do. That's really important. Should we try and fight here and use our Breland just to try and delay them here as long as possible? Maybe put our archers over here. Yeah, try and fight over here because then my guys will never break. So let's try and... But then again, we need someone to activate the towers at the beginning though. So stand over there for at the beginning of the fight. Activate the towers and then you're going to pull back. Archers, can we like get you to stand like that I think is best. Yeah. These towers that we have here should be activated. Start the battle. You're just gonna stand there until they arrive. Then you're gonna run away. Let the towers weaken as many as possible and then run to the hills when they're destroying the gates. Yeah, Angmar infantry, not, it's not the archers. 4% has been killed already. Pretty nice. The towers are bombarding them. The enemy curses! The enemy are battering down our gates! Destroying the gate. Be prepared to run away when they are going in. These guys are already up. 80% begin running. Go back here. Run and wardens stay the back. Ram has breached the gates. Let the Brelanders take the first fight. Please run as well. There we go, we're running. The walls are no longer ours. The enemy have taken them. Towers have stopped. These towers are now firing, or yeah, they are bombarding them with shots. Brilanders, you're gonna be the first one to fight them. Stand over here, prepare yourself, hold the line. We've killed 17% of their force already. Okay, Hillman, not a scary unit. Is this tower firing? Yes, it is. Good. Archers, fire at the orcs in the back here. They don't have the best units in the world in this army. Hold them here, Brelanders. Hold them. Ma try and make them exhausted, make them weak. There we go. These are just going to fire in the blob. And when you're out of ammunition, you're going to be the next in line to fight. Because I really want these wardens to fight when the battle is almost over. We have a decent position here. 25. We have killed. Is this still firing? Yes, it is. Is this tower firing? It should be. No. It's not. How about this? No. It's not. Okay. We at least have one tower that is firing. They are pushing through with a lot of things here. Maybe we should actually move to this area and fight them here instead with the Wardens. Yes, we are going to. We have towers here. Let's pull back to this area. This tower is firing. That's good. Pull back to this area. Fight them. The rest of the units here. Ignore the square. Go back to that position. 
Hopefully they're, they're, they have some archers there firing at me. But we are doing well. 38% of their army has been destroyed. Fast forward. A few Brelanders left. 40 of them. Still have some ammunition left. Use everything you have. You're so pathetic in melee, so use everything you have. Oh, this tower. these are firing these towers when we stand there. That's perfect. I didn't expect them to. 55% of the drama has been killed. Huge. Huge. Absolutely huge. There we go. The they have command over the fort. Okay, you're standing ready. Go in shield wall. Guard here. Go for guard. Oh, they're orc hunters. Let them fire. Don't engage them. Go for their archers. Are they moving up on the walls with orc fighters? Yes, they are. Fight them then. The, enemy is no longer in command. the towers are still helping us. Yeah, that's good. They might lose. Okay, Orc Hunters are moving away. These hillmen are not going to fare too well against my Wardens, which with our tower support that we're having here. I wonder if my Archer Militia can finish the job here against Orc Fighters. We have 12 minutes, it's no problem. Would be really nice if we could annihilate this entire army. I'm not sure that we are going to be able to, but I'm hoping that we are going to. It would be so huge if we could do that. Are they, oh, they're broken. The orcs are broken. Good. Try and break these hillmen then. Go into melee with them and break them. It's actually good that they're sending up their infantry up here. The enemy is no longer in command of the fort. Okay, it looks pretty okay at this moment. Hillmen are broken. Good. Fire your last shots on the angry archers. Um, we're losing some guys here. To these Hillmen. Uh, uh, oh. oh, enemy general fallen. I thought it was mine. Hillmen are broken. Excellent. Eh? Good. These guys are not going to break too easily, though. Stay where you are. The towers are fight firing for us. Archer militia. Don't break. Oh, you broke. Let's see if these Angram infantry are going to go for me. No. No. Let's march towards them. Maybe we should go up on the walls here instead. My towers are firing, so we shouldn't leave this position, but um, it's a bit too cheesy standing still here. Take this off. Take the wall away. Can we move up, move up this area? I want to lure these guys up on the wall if we can. Oh, we have a few... Oh, these guys are still here. Okay. Fire at the angry... No, 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 no. Go up the wall. Go up the wall. That means that you don't need to be at the wall. Fight them here. Go shield. Well, that was not a good... Where's the general? Is he in the worst position? No, he's over there. He's in a de decent one. Okay, stay with... Stay where you are. Fire at their... <laughs> Angmar... Angmar marches with your... Two units. Fast forward. You're holding good here. You should be able to win in the end. I wonder if you're getting any kills. Hopefully you are. Okay, these guys are likely going to break soon, hopefully. 17. We are winning hard here. There we go. General, Battle kill one guy there. Come on. There we From go. We're dead. My general got hit by a few shots there. Oh. They're going for me. General, move in. Finish off these uh, archers. Come on, we have two archers left. One guy here. Kill no, he died. Foes taking control of the fort. The he enemy died. Is no go in. in silence the these fort. guys. We have one guy somewhere. Is he in the... Oh, he's over there. Oh, he died. Okay, fast forward. We are going to win. We are going to win. I think. Come on. I really need to go now. I cannot record anymore. Break them. There we go. End the battle. Thank you. This was huge. This was actually huge. A good victory here. Really good victory. Let's take a look at the kills. Archer Militia, 238 kills there. Well done. Well done indeed. Good work. Well done on the fort there. Execute them. 
attack. Oh, they stopped attacking me at Anumanas. That's really good. That's buying us a few extra turns. Can we? Uh, Agendaur is not doing anything though. Can he attack the fort? Maybe. Used to stop them a little while. Accept that. Uh, let's take a look. Beyond Hall besieged. Faction announcements. Uh, Gandalf the White. Gandalf the White has spawned. Beyond Hall. I really need to go now. Uh, through his service to Middle Earth as a great Maya, Olorin has been sent back to these shores by the Valar in order to carry out his unending task. Sauron must fall. And as the newly appointed head of the council, Gandalf the White is the power we need. Yeah, he is the power we need. We need... Dwarves of Kassadum, Orcs of Gundabad. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, Marriage celebrations. Recruitment report. Let's go quickly here because I really need to go. Let's go for the roads here while we can afford them. Uh, there must Dyke armor. Let's go for the Numenorean armor there. Thorbad Carpenter's hut over there. Go for the Master Carpenter's. Yeah, I'm going to risk going for that. Uh, Kemeth Bryn, Dunedain War Camp. We can only afford the Leather Tan. Let's go for that. Let's queue up everything we can for a training here. Even though we're out of money. You're, You're moving over there. Are, Are they besieged no here? Fool. Spy, move over here and take a look. They might be under siege. I hope that they're not. We would suck if they was. Gandalf the White is here. He is here. And he has the Arthurdine Royal Flipping Guard. 12 charge, 14 attack, 30 defense. Insane unit. Absolutely insane. I'm thinking we might want to use him down here against Dunland. That's probably a good target. Or maybe yes, actually yeah. against Angmar. He could try and move up here and create an army and try and take these. Well, I, I cannot rec re record anymore though. I really need to go. I need to pick up a girlfriend. I hope that you've enjoyed this episode. Have a beautiful day. Goodbye to you all.